Welcome back guys to another video. Got something pretty special for you guys, which is Neo. So over the weekend and also Friday last week, I did say if the event is impressive enough, Neo stock will go up. And look at this right now. Neo stock is up 11% pre-market, even though the rest of the market today is super red. Look at SPY, it's down 0.65%. And don't even let me get into Bitcoin right now because Bitcoin is down a ton, went to $42,000 pretty much, and now it's at $34,000. Extremely painful. I think Bitcoin was a reason why the markets tank so hard. And if you check out the Clean Energy ETF, this is like my favorite stock to play. It's down negative 3.5%. I may consider buying the dip because I think Bitcoin's the reason why all the stocks and indexes are dropping. But look at NEO today. It's strong as ever. It's up like 10 11 percent because neo had a really good neo day event that impressed a lot of investors neo is now the third largest car manufacturer in the world the market cap is roughly 100 to 105 billion dollars it's bigger than bmw it's bigger than volkswagen it's bigger than mercedes it's actually three times the size of ford motors and with the three biggest car manufacturers in the world tesla toyota and neo we're seeing a lot of people saying how Neo and Tesla will definitely become big rivals. And people are saying that will Neo or Tesla grow more by 2022? There's several reasons why people are making assumptions like this. But the ET7 is the most important part because this sedan blew away investor expectations. I think we all knew that this car will be very nice. Everyone knew that Neo will be announcing a electric vehicle that will be a sedan but no one expected something quite like this. The sensors and the chips were so impressive to the point that people started evaluating Neo stock as a software LiDAR company over the weekend. Because the event mostly showcased the chips co-working with NVIDIA, the LiDAR, and also better megapixel cameras than Tesla, everyone wanted a piece of Neo stock because people are like, oh man, this means that Neo is really getting into the autonomous driving business. Neo has also hinted several times of them working with Intel Mobileye. They also have several rumors how that they may be having a massive robo taxi deal with the biggest ride hail company in China, which is Didi. Didi accommodates a lot of area in China. They cater to millions and millions of people. Now they're mostly in China, but hey, the Chinese population is like 1.4 billion people. And a lot of people use ride hail. Uber and Lyft got hit pretty hard over there. So DD is like the sole big company and they want to have robo taxis. It's not just, you know, Neo having robo taxis. You have Auto X, which is backed by Alibaba. They already have 20 autopilot taxis in Shenzhen driving around with no driver behind it. You have Baidu and Paulo who already registered for five robo taxis on the network for research with no drivers in it. So obviously Neo has to play a massive catch up game and they're launching their own autonomous vehicle. And this vehicle is really impressive, especially how if you use a brand new 150 kilowatt hour battery in it, it, will, it could go up to a thousand kilometers per single charge. And the overall vehicle looks really good. The tail lights look incredible. The front lights look great. It kind of reminds me of like the Model S, Model 3 kind of look combined with like Neo's own signature feel. So it's very, very cool. I mean, I love the interiors. You got this massive iPad. Look how pretty that is. It looks really good. It reminds me of Tesla having a very simple setup in the front and just one massive display. This vehicle is 70,000 USD, which is exactly the same price as Tesla. So we'll be seeing massive competition. It's what's really crazy is Neo isn't afraid of Tesla. Usually if you want to go against Tesla, you may want to launch a cheaper car. You know how Tesla Model S is like $70,000? you may want to launch a car maybe that's $60,000. That way your pricing is more competitive, not Neo. They're launching their vehicle at $70,000 and they're not going back after that. And this cabinet looks incredible. Like seriously, it's like all glass on the top. Investors love this vehicle. They got like the ever evolving AI system. It'll comment you better. You got the massive like sensor display. You also have like the digital key. It's great. I mean, they got surround sound. You can't ask for more than the Neo ET7. And I think everyone is starting to evaluate that Neo is a massive LiDAR company. You kind of reveal a lot of LiDAR tech, a lot of chips. The autopilot system is really good. And so far, I think Neo is doing a really good job with this. It has a massive amount of range, which is really incredible. This is more than like the Model S, which the range is like 400, 450, you know, per charge. 
Neo ET7 is like 621 mile range. So this really impresses investors They're like, wow, Neo has actually caught up with Tesla in terms of mile range and even surpassing them. And everyone is really happy because this is a fully autonomous driving car, the ET7. Keep in mind if Neo announced the ET7 sedan and says it has the regular autopilot and that's it. Stocks will absolutely tank. But because Neo announced the ET7, but also announced fully autonomous driving capabilities, stocks went up. I think the main few words is fully autonomous driving capability. That really sent Neo stock up. And keep in mind that Neo is also introducing massive amounts of subscription programs, which I fully endorse and I really like. Because of all the other companies out there, you actually have to pay like full price. Like let's say Tesla, you want like a longer range model? Fine, you gotta pay like $15,000 more. Neo has this battery subscription program, which really does lower the cost of entry. Look at the model EC6. It starts out roughly $65,000 USD if you want to include the battery. If you don't want the battery, the price is roughly dollars to $45,000 USD. So you save a lot of money. And guess what? You just got to pick a battery subscription program, which really isn't that bad. Like It does increase by price. And the 150 kilowatt hour battery, I'm guessing, could be 1900 or 2000 RMB per month, which is roughly $230 per Per month, two hundred fifty dollars per month. It's not too bad, especially how you don't actually have to have the battery, and you have a way cheaper initial cost. You also have autopilot, NDA, Neo autonomous driving. That will cost you one hundred and five dollars per month. It's probably nice that Neo has subscriptions because you could turn them on and off whenever you want to. Let's say this month you're traveling a lot to different companies and different cities in China or I guess Europe one day. Well, you're going to be needing autopilot. So you buy autopilot just for that month. And later on, you don't want autopilot. You turn it off. Tesla will be having an autopilot system as well. That's subscription placed. But I think Neo really did outdid themselves. Investors are super impressive. The stock is up a whopping 11%. Even though the clean energy ETF is down negative 3.6%. And even though SPY is down almost negative 0.7%. Neo did really incredible. The Neo Day was super impressive. I think it's because of their ultra long range, high resolution LiDAR. You got multiple cameras and the driving is incredible. This autonomous driving system by Neo really did impress investors. I think if Neo did not include LiDAR tech, autonomous driving tech, the share prices will not surge up that much. So you got to thank the LiDAR team and the autonomous driving team for sending Neo stock up. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment below. This is the third biggest car manufacturer in the world right now. And who knows? This might even hit $200 billion and surpass Toyota. Neo stock, it's incredible. I mean, this is doing better than all the other Chinese car stocks. And I feel like Neo is doing a phenomenal job. Thanks for watching, guys. And comment below.